for the gym as you can see it's 12 o'clock <laughs> said i was going to the gym at 9 10 turned to 12 I, I had got up made me some breakfast i made um scrambled eggs spinach and cheese i ate that got back in the bed been sipping on the celsius for like an hour i would just remember i remember i was at the store oh and i got my nails done y'all Little spring vibes. So cute. I went back to the uh, scary house I told y'all about. <laughs> I went to her once when I got the Valentine's Day nails. And then we had like a misunderstanding with the rescheduling and stuff. So I ended up going to the girl and Katie, which was terrible. Them nails was, them last nails I had, I hated them. They were long and witchy. It was terrible. But these, yeah, I'm back. I'm back with her. And I, um already pre-booked for May. Anyways, when I was talking, I had got some more Celsius. I forgot that this one was nasty as hell. This is the orange pomegranate. Don't get it. It's nasty as hell. But of course, I drank it because I paid for it. I'm about to head to the gym. Got to come back home, edit this weekend vlog for it to go come out today. What else? Nothing else planned today. I'm going to be editing for a few hours. Then it'll be by the time I'm done editing, waiting for it to upload. I go to the store and get dinner. We're probably having tacos. I already have the tortillas and all the other fixings. I just need to get some meat. Probably tacos. And I've seen something else on TikTok where they use, uh, she used biscuits and like uh, cupcake trays and she put the ground meat and cheese and then you know you can add your own lettuce and tomato and stuff like that. Might try that or just some regular tacos. It's Tuesday. But yeah, I'm about to head to the gym. I'm about to look and see if I can find me an appointment to get the top of my hair done. That means I have to take this shit out <laughs> halfway. I think they let you take out like four rows or five. <sighs> We're going to do that this week. We ain't doing that today though. Sometime this week. But yeah, I'll pick you guys back up later. Hey y'all. So Erin has a sneaker ball. May 12th. She wants this dress. Do y'all think this is short? This vlog will be out before May 12th, so y'all let me know and we'll order. I think this is short. Look at that. This is not even what it used to be in school. Two inches above the knee. Erin, you're tall too. And this model, let's see how tall this model is. It don't say product description. Oh, well, I know she's shorter than you, and this dress looks short. I need to see some other options. Show me other options, because it's short. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think. But I'm making my tacos. I'm cutting up my onion. Bell pepper, I already made the ground meat, but I'm cutting this up because I have, like, a slab of the seasoned steak. And I'm eating steak. I'm eating one steak. That's all I have left for one. They eating beef. I'm getting my steak with my sauteed vegetables. Because I think I'm Chipotle. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Today is Wednesday, April the 19th. I can't believe it's the 19th already. God damn, we about to be in May. Jeez. We're about to be in May. Yeah. And I just saw... I think I let one of my flight credits from when we I went to Puerto Rico for Ashley's bachelorette. We got like y'all, we got delayed like three times on our Southwest flight. We even had to stay in Chicago at our layover, but they ended up giving a credit for two fifty. And I think I, I let the shit expire. I just saw it expired. I think October twenty two twenty twenty two. And I think I have one for. Um, yeah, 92, when COVID had first started, started, we were supposed to go to Cali and I got a credit. I don't know if I used that credit for when I took Aaron to Cabo or not. I'm going to call and see, but I know the Southwest one is expired. Shit. I can't believe I let that. That was a $250 credit. 
anyways i'm about to head to the gym and then we're going to bath and body works because they're they're uh single week candles on sale yeah and y'all know bath and body works when they have a sale you gotta go because they these are i think 5.95 i'm drinking a, a celsius this is the new flavor oasis i found it at target it's uh oasis vibes prickly pear it's pretty good i give it like a seven i buy it again instead of the one i had yesterday that one was nasty but i'm about to head to the gym and then i'll probably pick you guys up when we get to um bath and body work hey y'all uh, i left the gym i'm at target now I had to come get you guys some pull-ups but why are these on sale it says 329 then it says additional 15 percent off 279 for a two-pack i got two of them and they have more if the price is right, I'm coming back to get some more. I don't even know how this smell, how this scent smells. They also have a lot of their, uh, like, Clorox sprays. You see that? I had two. I bought these last month on sale. If y'all come to Target and just look through their cleaning products and stuff, a lot of their stuff has yellow tags. Like whatever this was, Lysol was six twenty nine. That's five thirty four. A lot of they should be having fifteen percent off. Fifteen percent off. Look at that. Thir Windex thirty. I'm probably about to get this. I need some Windex. Four ninety nine. Two forty nine. Go to y'all local Target and go see. They be having. Look. I'm gonna get this. Four twenty nine. Three dollars. Let me go get a basket. <laughs> $42.25 so she can give me a 10 bag. She gave me five cent bag. So I walked out the store and everything. I'm like, wait, <laughs> what the fuck is my ten dollars? Went back in. She's like, oh, she's trying to give me two dollars. Bitch, I gave you $42.25 so you can give me a 10 bag. I went live by ten dollars. I ain't trying to make your drawer short. She was gonna have to go back there and count that whole drawer to see that she was over 10. To get my ten dollars. And I got my ten dollars. The fuck? I'm about to go to Chipotle with that ten dollars. Give me my money. Like I said before, I stole another story, but I don't steal from people. Mm -mm. Not, not my, no. Nah. Oh. These damn braids nappy as hell. I'm about to set me an appointment. Probably not gonna be this week, cause I got shit to do. Then I can just throw a hat on, cause I have a kids party Sunday. So, I ain't doing a Sunday fun day again. So, a hat will be getting thrown on over these meat meals. And maybe I get my hair done next week. It is hot as hell outside. It's 87. But like I was saying, I'll probably just wait till next week to get my hair done. I'm not doing much that won't require a, uh, I can't throw a hat on. But Erin, she needs the front of her hair done over. Because I told her, don't get that connection shit. I knew the rub bands was going to pop. Anytime you do like something rub bands, like connection is pulling, I knew the rub bands was going to pop. So it's time for her to get her friend done over. Cause the rubber bands didn't pop. Waste of money. She probably she not gonna get that connection. The connections in the front this time though. She gonna get like full out the dress that she got in the back. She gonna get in the front. I'm about to go to Chipotle. I'm hungry. All I had this morning was uh, two boiled eggs and half a banana. So let's go. I'm just driving to Chipotle. And I see a damn crumble sign. They putting a crumble right there. I wonder if it's open. Because they had a good selection this week. I might go get some. I wonder if it's open. I'm so happy that they putting one by me. Because I usually drive to the one um, by Brittany House in Richmond. Oh, yes. This is like right here by First Colony. Yeah, it's not open yet. But... It is going to be open soon. They're not working on it. Okay, Crumble. 
finally. Yep. I'm home. It's hot as fuck outside. And it was just storming yesterday. Houston. Houston. Seriously. I swear it was storming yesterday. It's 84 degrees. Hold on. It say 3 o'clock. It's 30% chance of rain. <laughs> okay. It's the candles I got. I don't know damn $2 rent. Right? This is what she tried to give me back. $2 after she owed me 10 But I end up getting this one, y'all. Mahogany vanilla. I can't wait till they had a uh, big candle sale. End up getting six of them. I have a lot of candles. I really just dry went because they was on sale. And I, this size is perfect for my bathrooms. I have big candles in there right now. So when those burn out, this is the only size I'm going to be putting in the bathrooms. This is a good size. This one. Vanilla. Uh, mahogany vanilla. I had to get two of these. I got two of the uh, mahogany vanillas. I got a, a white sage. A white tea and sage. This smells real good. And I think I got duplicates of the other ones. Of these. I got two of these. See, I'm not a cinnamon and spice girl. But this, vanilla, the vanilla took over. That's why I got it. Because I love vanilla bean candles. Anything vanilla spray, all that. But the vanilla took over. Because cinnamon spice. When I tell y'all, my mama sprayed the fuck out of cinnamon spice apple. That's why I don't like anything cinnamon apple. I really don't like apple apple flavored candy. I'll eat an apple fruit. But apple flavored candy or like drinks, I don't like. Cinnamon spice apple glade spray. When I tell y'all Lisa used to spray the shit out of that spray. I cannot buy any don't 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 give me nothing. Apple cinnamon apple cinnamon Spice, none of it. During fall, I don't like pumpkin spice. I don't want none of it. But this, this smell good. The vanilla took over. And uh, powder. The powder glaze spray. <sighs> My mama sprayed the fuck out of it. Now, clean linen, she sprayed that up too. Them were, her, them were her three. Clean linen, apple, cinnamon spice, and powder. Baby powder. You can't pay me to buy the baby powder. You can't pay me to buy apple, cinnamon, uh, any of that spice. Spice, pumpkin spice, none of that. But clean linen, I, could, I, I don't even buy it, but I could do it. Like I told y'all, I bought those um, fabric sheets. The clean linen, like the spray, I love it. It just smells like clean linen. I could still do that one. But the mother two, scorn. Scorn. And I got a, a vanilla, a lavender vanilla. I got six of them. I didn't really need these candles. My sister and Michi, I begged them for these candles. I'm going to light it this week when I'm done with this mahogany one. Let me go get it and show y'all. I know this candle. This candle going to hit when I light it. Granted, I still have candles from the last sale and candles from bad, I mean, from Marshall's, the DW candles I told y'all I light. But these came after the sale and Michi went and bought about 30 of them. And my sister went and bought a lot too. So I begged them for one apiece. I got two of them. This one, can y'all see it? It's the blue bungalow. Y'all, it smells so damn good. I wish y'all could smell it. It smells, it's blue bungalow. Y'all go to Bath and Body Works. I didn't see it in this size. They ain't had none of this size. I didn't even see, I didn't look in these big sizes because it's three weeks at the moment. Or I think like $20 until they had a $10 sale. That's when I go get some more. But this, I can't wait till I'm done. I'm gonna light this. Um, what's that? The, that's some mahogany, mahogany teak wood. I'm finishing that off. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna start on one of these. Yeah. But I'm about to. I went to Chipotle. Got me a bowl. I got a salad bowl with that famous dressing. I mean, I was trying to be okay because I had my little eggs this morning. I'm trying to eat better, y'all, because I've been eating, like, trash. Every night, I just finished off them turtle pecan cookies. I made the last little six last night. I'm not going to buy no more cookies because I've been baking 
Last week, Jake was on a peanut butter cookie, been baking up for him. And this week, I've started on the pecans. I've been eating, no, I finished them. Pecans, pecan, how y'all say it? I finished them turtle cookies. I finished the last six last night. He had three, I had three. I had a little ice cream. I've been eating bad. I'm done. And I got Erin a um, quesadilla, because once she see this um, Chipotle bag, she gonna be looking at me funny like, where is it? But I'm about to eat my food because all I had this morning was that boy, them two boiled eggs and a banana. So I'm about to eat my food and I see Peyton drop a vlog. Waiting on Gina to drop a vlog. Um, yeah, I'm about to watch Peyton vlog and y'all was asking. That's my uh, birth control alarm. It's 3 o'clock. Yeah, I was asking me about the reunion. So, I might get... We, we're going to discuss that while I eat. Yeah, we're going to do that. Y'all, I was about to watch Peyton vlog, but... <laughs> man, the wood on. The wood is on. I'm definitely about to watch this. This is the part where he about to uh, beat his ass because when he grabbed a uh, Monica butt during recess. Was it recess or was they switching? I don't know. They in high school. I don't think it was recess. I love this movie. <laughs> it is the beginning. Here's my bowl. Bed loaded. And I got some vinaigrette. But anywho, let me turn it down a little bit. Let's talk quick because this is my movie. I watched the reunion. Was it worth the wait? Hell no. Nah. That reunion was not worth the wait at all. It was so biased. Oh, Lord, y'all. The way, um... I thought about some napkins over here. about more than this? The way Vanessa treated Marshall and the way she badgered Paul. Y'all, y'all know I went to her Instagram. And just like when I went to Jackie's Instagram, I was the fire her ass up in the comments and get blocked. I ain't have to. I ain't have to, baby, because they was on her ass. It was a uh, her last post. They was tearing her down. I went back a few hours, baby. She turned them comments off. Her post before her last post, she ain't turned them comments off. She haven't posted since then. They doing a petition for them not to even host no more. I see a lot of comments was asking for them not her and her husband Nick not to host and asking for Lauren and Cameron to host. That would be a good one. That's the first couple that um from season one, Lauren and Cameron, they got married. Let them host. She was so like, and then for Marshall to tell her like he feels slated that twice. He said, This is the second time I feel slated by Jackie. She didn't come to the dress thing and wasn't, you know, she didn't tell me. Then she didn't come to the reunion, but was on um Zoom talking to Vanessa in a whole different room. With, J with Josh. So her and Josh are together. So this is a year later. All of the couples were still together. Of course. Yeah, the three couples that got married, they're still together. Which was good. Um, and I feel like... I feel like Brett wanted to say something so bad. I feel like somebody should have said something. Because when Paul... When they was t tearing Paul up about Micah, because Micah really wasn't going to marry him. Micah really asked that man to go first because she knew she wasn't going to say yes. But she didn't want to be the villain. Because she already was the villain with Irene in the house. They was being bullies. And they talked about that. They had Irina on the couch too. And they was tearing her ass up. Uh, What is the one that, that's married to uh Bliss? I can't ever remember his name. Zach. That's Bliss' uh, husband name, Zach. Zach was tearing Arena ass up. He told her, you only came on this show to get famous. You really didn't. She knew from the jump she didn't like him when he proposed. I don't know why she said yes. Cause... Which one? Uh-uh. Uh, whatever her name is. So the... <laughs> she knew she didn't like him from when he proposed in the past. She didn't like the way he looked. She said he looked like a cartoon character, which he is kind of weird, but he's a weird, a good, he's a, a criminal defense lawyer. He's really smart. He just wasn't blinking. He was like looking kind of weird, but he's a good weird for bliss. They, they work. I really knew she didn't. She still went to Mexico. She said that production 
told her to go to Mexico to break it off with him, but you didn't have to go away to Mexico to break it off with him because she acted a complete, like, she acted really bad to him in Mexico. Like, he was asking for a hug and a kiss. She didn't want to hug and kiss him. All the other cast people, when they met up, she didn't she, she didn't even want to hug or kiss or none of that, hold his hand, none of that. She did not like him from the get-go. She didn't like him. So she should have never even went to Mexico. She should have just shut this shit down in the pause. She wasn't attracted to him at all. So he was on her ass. When Micah was trying to come for Paul, he was on Micah's ass. He had he had Paul back because cause Vanessa was going really at Paul and Marshall. I just can't believe she treated Marshall like that. Marshall was the victim, but she was sitting over there kiki and laughing with Josh and uh, Jackie. That shit really pissed me off. I hope she make a statement and she publicly apologized to Marshall. Because I saw she sent Zach some flowers. Or Paul. She sent Paul some flowers because she was on Paul's ass about Micah. She sent him some flowers. And I saw in the comments, is she going to send Marshall? She must be going to send, um, somebody said she must going to send Marshall a whole bouquet and some. I said that she was going to send Marshall a car. Because she was on Paul ass, but she was tearing Marshall up. And the fact that when he said he felt slated for her not coming, she was like, did you even consider your fiancé's feelings? Bitch, the way Jackie acted him, why would he consider her feelings? And then she with Josh, who she wanted to be with all along. But she was just trying to get a good guy this time. But she didn't want no good guy. She didn't want a good guy. She didn't want Marshall. She really wasted Marshall time. And had the nerve to say she wasn't giving the ring back because Marshall was going to propose to somebody else. So the fuck what? Zach proposed to Bliss and he had already proposed to Irina. So what? You got a whole man. And the fact that... This is my last statement because I'm hungry. I'm about to eat. The fact that her and Josh a year later aren't married proves that they didn't come on that show to get married. Because everybody that came on that show to get married, you had, what, a month or two to get married? Once you met them, I think four weeks later they got married. Why y'all not married a year later if that's what y'all wanted? The whole point, if you're going to love is blind, you're looking for marriage immediately. They're not married a year later. They don't know when they're going to get married. And then, last argument statements, Vanessa kept putting kids on everybody. When are you going to have kids? When are you going to have kids? When y'all going to, we're going to have the first loving, uh, love is blind baby. We're going to have the first love is blind baby. Like so many people in the comments was like, that was so wrong. You don't know what kind of problems people having. You don't know what, if people can have kids. Stop. She asked Brett and Tiffany and that over and over. She asked all the couples that was married. Brett, Brett was getting irritated. Brett told her when the time is right, the time is right. We, we're still traveling. We still get, they just, Got married a year ago. Let these people... They don't even know each other. Shit. They didn't know each other when they got married. God damn. Yeah, that's my take on it. I, I hated their reunion. And I hope they don't host next year. <sighs> Y'all can see these damn pictures. Hold on, let me turn that pictures down. I'm watching Gina vlog. She and her doors. It looks so beautiful. It's a solo vacation. I want to do that one day, y'all. It's crazy. I, just, I didn't know she wanted to... This was a solo vacation. And I just tweeted, I want to do that. Solo vacation. It's so nice. Hold on. Let me pause this. Let me show y'all. <laughs> y'all, homeboy pictures. <laughs> I don't know if it was too early or what. Come on, focus. It might be the lighting. <laughs> See him? His ass might be too damn light. Let me go to the next one. Child. My child look miserable. Like, y'all can make him smile. Who was the photographer? Why well, is not focusing? Hey, y'all see him? This is the only one I think cute. And it's only five goddamn pictures on there. Like, they didn't even get his whole fit. This was the the um, Barbary outfit he wore for his birthday. And he's going to wear it five times. So this is the second time. I think I'm going to take him take my own pictures. I can take him to the little park I took him to when he took his first pictures. Because, yeah, and then I'm going to sell his outfit. This is a Barbary shirt and shoes. But this one, this is the one. This is the one I like. There you go. <laughs> this is the only one I like. Like, what? 
What was he doing? He looked so miserable. Like, then they had the nerve for five pictures that you ain't even made my son smile in. It's $100. And that's for digital. Look. Like, what? <laughs> None of them are smiling. His other pictures he took, was it last year when he had on the blue? The uh, Those were cute. They, whoever that photographer was had him, like, smiling. I think they took him around the same time. These, I don't like these. Because maybe it was too early. But I think they took the pictures around the same time last year. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm not wasting my money on these. Mm -mm. Good morning, y'all. Happy 420. Today is April the 20th. <laughs> it's Thursday. Happy 420 to all the smokers out there. If y'all smoke. I text my friends this morning. <laughs> Baby, these flakes. That's why my hair look like fuzzy because I didn't took this. And try to brush some of these damn flakes out. Yeah, it's time to take this out, wash my hair, and get the top redone. That's why this shit is like a carpet at the top. A hat is definitely going over this for the weekend. Anywho, <laughs> um, I text my friends. I ain't got no earrings on. That's what's really, like, yeah, I'm not giving these damn screwbacks on. I text my friends this morning, and I told them, happy 420. They always laughing like, bitch, <laughs> my Really talking about Poe, please. They know I'm not a smoker. Yeah, I tried weed many years ago. Years and years ago. Let me see if I can put these earrings on while I'm talking. <sighs> these screwbacks, Lord. Years ago. And we end up... After I um, tried the damn weed that Joe, that Joe pressured me into smoking, I said probably like <laughs> three puffs. Baby, we went out... I was in that damn club just standing there stuck. Stuck. Ugh, I hate these damn screw bags. Stuck. Oh shit, I got it. Stuck. Standing there, zoned out. I, I cannot do weed. I can't do it. I was high the whole time in the club. I didn't do anything. I didn't talk. I was just standing there. Just. Joseph was like, what the fuck? Then when we got back in the car, I was just, I, I sat in the car. I was just looking out the window. Like, we just had my mind like, like flowers. Just, I can't do it. I, I can't, baby, give me uh, some wine or some honey. I can't do weed. It's not for me. It just makes me zoned out and I'm stuck. I need uppers. Like, that's going to make me turn up. Like some alcohol. I can't do no weed. I back in the car, I was still high. Just was like, bitch, are you are you still high? Yes, I'm still high. They, they, don't, they don't pressure me to smoke no more. I was born as hell in that damn club, just standing there. I can't do it. Ooh, I got this one fast too. I'll never get this this fast. Maybe I need to put these hoes on camera more often. <laughs> but yeah, weed ain't for me. But Shout out to all the smokers. I hope y'all smoke big blunts and Kush and um, Dro, Reggie, whatever y'all smoke. Happy 420. I'm on the way to work. I went to the gym this morning. I got up early. I got dressed for the gym, went to the gym, and now I'm about to go to work. What else was I about to say? Yeah, I'm about to go to work, and I need to go to the store. I need to get a tire. First and foremost, I'm going to work and then I got to come back this way. It's a tire shop I used to go to when I lived uh, like in the southwest area. I need to get a tire. Yesterday, I looked at that damn tire and I could see the uh, shredding on it. Yeah, it's going to blow on my ass very soon. I was wondering why. <laughs> Last week, it was raining. I'm on the freeway. I'm down there like sliding. I was like, whoa, hold on. It granted it was raining bad, but shit, ain't no way I should have been sliding. Like when I, I went back to like I started doing like 50, 45, I was good. 
anything over 60, bitch, a bitch was kind of sliding. I was like, yeah, it's time to get some tires in the front. And then yesterday I saw the thread on the right one. I do not like, that's like the worst, the worst shit ever is having a flat tire. I hate having a flat tire. So I'm getting that. Don't say goodbye to Lily. I'm fixing that today. Fuck no. Not about to catch me slipping with no uh, flat tire, especially on the freeway. That's the worst shit ever. But yeah, I'm about to head to work. Then I'm going to get a tire. I need an oil change too. Might as well knock that out. I'm going to get an oil change, a tire. I need to go to the store. Erin said, I asked Erin what she wanted because I don't know what to cook. She said she wanted uh, jambalaya. We had jambalaya on Easter. She didn't get any because her ass left. She went back with her best friend. I thought, I told her to come on for Easter. She asked me, can I go back? Because they was out of school that Monday. So she went back. So she didn't get no jambalaya. My sister had cooked like two. She made two pans of it. Making jambalaya. I think I'll make some fried chicken with it. Take some chicken out. So yeah. I will talk to you guys later. Hey y'all. We are off. I'm at the tire shop. My ass tried to just get this right tire. <laughs> yeah, I knew they was gonna say somebody's left tire. So he said get two. And then after I agreed to two, he gonna say, Oh, the back one should come in two. Let's take care of these front two first, and then we'll worry about them back two. What you said, two weeks? I talked to your ass in about two to three weeks. Get these front two so I can stop sliding. Lord, why is this like women shouldn't have to do this like mess with cars and tires and stuff like this yeah we we, we ride hard and stuff like that well, i can't even drive hard maybe when i'm not paying attention i do be like pressing on this brake down hey y'all i'm at h-e-b look what i found these caramel waters y'all know i love shit with probiotics in it so i'm gonna try one this watermelon wild berry, blueberry lemonade, strawberry lemonade. I saw a patent with these. I'm gonna try one. And berry cherry. I think I'm gonna try blueberry lemonade. And you just press this down in it. You know, I gotta go put it in the refrigerator. I like my shit cold. So I need to get some rice. I know it's coming out of the box. Scratch baddies going on. If y'all make jump alive from scratch, kudos to y'all. Kudos to y'all. Well, these stores are really phasing out like cashiers and going straight to self checkout. I used to go to self checkout here at HEV anyway, but it's normally like six of them. They didn't turn the manual self checkout that they normally have a cashier at into a self self checkout. I'm going to show y'all. They are really like, if you're a cashier, baby, they, they are phasing that shit out. That's crazy. Because Walmart completely, Walmart completely has this self-checkout. Maybe like two at the front, but Walmart is completely self-checkout. This self-checkout, this is new. 25 items or less. This is where I normally go. This is 10 items, but I'll be having well over 10, but this is like six of them. This is new. And right there. They didn't completely took the cashier away. Wow. That's crazy. He's just here thinking that there's like no cashier. Let's still check out. Wow. Hey y'all, I'm home. That's self check out shit really amazed me it's crazy and i'm like i was just in here what's today he said they did it last friday y'all know i'm always in the h-e-b i should be a damn member but um he said they did it last friday what's today thursday i went tuesday when i cooked i think i went to h-e-b yeah remember i said i went to three stores i went in there i didn't notice that so there is somebody there to bag your stuff because it's 25 items or more so that, that boy standing there, he bags your stuff. And then he has a screen right there to, like, see, like, I guess what you getting. Because I had a donut. And he was like, oh, yeah, he gave me the code for it. He, he saw that I had a donut on there. So it must be a camera screen they can see, like, what you checking out. So I guess because it's, like, 25 items or more. But that's crazy. 
And eventually, they probably that was the only one right there like that. It's two um, two sides, so they probably testing that out to see how that goes. And all you will need is a bagger at the end, you know, watching and seeing what you're doing, checking your ID for alcohol. They're probably gonna. I'm telling y'all, they're gonna. Watch what I say. They're phasing out cashiers, and they're gonna have all self checkout just with the people watching like they normally do, and then baggers at the ones with like. So that's 25 items of this, and they're probably gonna go up to like 50. And then probably leave two or four registers for people that has like you know a bunch of items. I said it first, y'all. I was trying to hold out, y'all. I'm trying to eat better. I'm trying to do better. Told y'all I got rid of the cookies. I was trying to hold out with half of my banana until later when I cook, cause I'm making fried chicken and jambalaya. So I was like, you know, I'm already eating bad. I'll just wait. I can't wait. I'm hungry. It's three thirty. They they have a banana. It's gone. So I got me a, um, this is my healthy, right? A, a cranberry pecan, 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 whatever sandwich. I got this and I got me some kettle corn chips. It's crazy, y'all. Y'all know I don't like anything spicy. I don't like jalapeno, but I will eat these chips. I'll take the heat for these. These damn jalapeno kettle corn Lay's chips. I'll take the burn. I will take the burn because they are so good. So good. I got about an hour until Ann gets off the bus, so I'm about to finish. I had started watching, at the oil change place, I started watching Drea's vlog. So I'm about to finish her vlog and wait for Ann to get off the bus. Not sure if I'm going to pick up the camera again, unless y'all want to see my food. Got my box jambalaya. Scratch baddies. Got my, my box jambalaya. I'm going to do, uh, I wanted to do shrimp. Shrimp, chicken, and sausage. I'm just going to do chicken and sausage. Erin just said chicken and sausage. I think they tied the shrimp because <laughs> I love shrimp. I'm not going to put no shrimp in it. Just chicken and sausage, fried chicken. I wanted to do like some green beans or something on the side. I don't know. I might. If I have some in there. I think I do. We'll see. I might pick the camera up. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, y'all. Today is Saturday, April the 22nd. Got home from work, changed. It's um, two o'clock. I'm about to go to Jacob's basketball game. I think it's like um, about 15 minutes away from the house. Starts at 225, so I'm about to leave the house now. See, I got my hat on y'all, baby. This cap, child. I can't wait to take this out. I'm going to take these out Monday because I'm wearing a hat, again, a hat again tomorrow to um, Poopy's party. But I'm going to take these out Monday. I'm going to try to look on there and see if I can book for Tuesday, of course, because what, what I'm going to do with my hair, top of my hair gone. As I was saying, I'm going to try to uh, take these out Monday, book an appointment Tuesday morning to get the top of my hair redone. So, yeah. About to go to the um, game. The kids are gone, so it's just gonna be me. Then um, I don't have nothing else planned today. But Javante is fighting today. I saw saw on thing. As I was saying, I have nothing else. I don't know why my camera's tripping. I have nothing else planned today. After this game, probably just come back home, chill, clean up some. Definitely clean up. And uh, Javante Davis fight tonight. So, maybe we'll go watch that somewhere. Have me a drink and a hookah or something. We shall see. Because y'all know how Houston is. I saw um, the address is going to be shown. And I really don't want to go there. Because I know it's going to be packed. They're going to want you to buy a section, buy a table, all that. Baby, I just want to sit down, have some drinks, smoke a little hookah, watch this fight, and go home. Ain't nobody trying to spend a million dollars to go watch a fight. They're probably going to charge you $40 to get in. The hookah's already $60. Um... Drinks high as hell. Then to sit down, you probably have to buy a bottle. Now, nah, baby, take me somewhere chill, relax, and we. Hopefully, somebody gonna have it at their house, and we go over to somebody's house and watch it. Bring a bottle or something. I don't know, but I'll let you guys know later. But I'm about to head to the game. I'm not gonna take my camera in. Probably record a little bit on my phone. So yeah. And I have on this little um, graphic tee from Target. I bought this shirt. <laughs> I don't even know. I bought this shirt. I think in. February, and it was just me hanging up. Cute little Tupac. I love me some Tupac, Tupac, Tupac. 
black tights. I think I'm gonna throw on my um black Yeezys. Let me see what I'm about to spray on. This one don't have no top, so let's spray this. <laughs> I do this with one hand. Chanel Chance, I love this. It's so loud. I usually mix this Chanel Chance with this Coco Mademoiselle. These two together, fire. I thought I said I was only gonna spray that one. Okay, y'all, let's go. Hey y'all, I'm home from the game. They won the first one I didn't make, but they they lost the one I went to. And my bad luck. <laughs> but I'm waiting on Jake. He, had to, he went to drop Jacob off and about to get something to eat. Then we're about to go to um, Lupe's or something like that. I don't know, some Mexican restaurant. But um, Hey y'all, I'm home. I had to go, um, after the game, I went and got some gas, and then I had to go, because my job is never done with Erin. I work for her 24 hours, seven days a week. She's not even here, and I'm running errands for her. I had to go get her some hair from the beauty supply so she can get the front of her hair done over. Somehow, she gone to her daddy, and she's over there with her best friend. They went to a, a football game today, so I guess whenever she leaves there, she's going to take the front of her hair down. And, um, I guess they're going to come get this hair because I'm not taking it over there. I'm not doing it. I already set it up in here. She can come get this hair and her daddy going to take her in the morning. And I guess we'll switch out with Eli because we have that party to go to tomorrow. Oh, y'all, but y'all. Y'all, they done got my boy Marshall, y'all. They done dug up some old tweets on Marshall. I'm so sad. I can't believe Marshall. Like, I didn't take him to be no goddamn black woman hater. Let me go to these damn tweets, because, baby, I showed screenshot of them. <sighs> Marshall, y'all. This is um in, I think, April 1st, 2014. Let me tell you something. If you're going to go be on a show... You go on an audition to be famous or do something like that, baby, you better delete all your old shit. Because people are going to dig and dig. They're going to find something on your ass. This is 2014. Like, I don't know if he a serial tweeter or he been, um, if he tweet like that. I have a lot. Who the hell went back to 2014? Baby, they went back. Marsha ass said a group of sad black girls that sit in a damn circle sharing their stories on why men ain't shit. He said, I'll tell you, black females, why? You walk into a restaurant and what do you see? A white couple, a Hispanic couple, an Asian couple, oh, a group of black girls. Then this motherfucker said, like legit Latino, 80 through 100% pure breed. She was Latino, too. I want a Latino girlfriend only so she can speak Spanish when we... Yeah, LOL. Latino girls know how to treat their dude. Um... Jackie was Latino, right? Oh, okay. Because Karma ate his ass up a whole eight years later. You got what you wanted. A goddamn Latino. And... Our black ass is over here. Oh, Marshall. Oh, Marshall. I'm rooting for you, Marshall. Granted, I still like Marshall. I still think Marshall is a good man. People do change because you are not the same person you were eight years ago. You're not the same person, but it's just crazy that he went into the pause and got him a Latino girl. Like, was it, was that the reason why you, uh, you know, he was talking to Tiffany at first, too. He told Tiffany to go with Brett and told Brett, oh, y'all match. And that's, is that the reason why you pushed Tiffany to, towards Brett? Because you knew that was a black woman and you knew Jackie was a Latino woman? Baby, call me HOS up eight years later, baby. You got, you got exactly what you thought was a, yeah, you got Jackie ass. But that's just crazy. Like, he's like, um, what did he say? He said, like I said earlier, things change. I was a sad teenager with a lot of issues when I tweeted a lot of that. I've grown and do not think or feel the same way. Anyone with anything to hide would have gone back and deleted it, but I left it up for a reason. 
you probably didn't think that nobody's gonna go back from 2023 to fucking 2014. You didn't think nobody was gonna go back to 2014. But a lot of people, like, you You didn't know that you was going to go on this show and become famous or you was going to make it out the pods and be, you know, who you are. So you had no reason to delete that. He was like, I, it, I even had a chance to go back and erase it. I elected not to. It's my progression as an individual, as a human. Those, those, um, those old tweets are just my proof that I have evolved. I thank God for the opportunity to be damaged, see clarity and forgiveness, and develop into a new person. Like, are you sorry that you got caught or are you sorry? That's what's so bad about it. You never know if a person is sorry that they got caught. Are you just sorry about uh, you really don't feel like that no more? And then on his Instagram, he didn't gave out like a whole shout out to uh, like eight black women that's in his life right now. I guess trying to prove he changed and he had black women in his life. It's just like, why? When I saw that, I was like, fuck. Not Marshall. Not Marshall. They're really like, I, I, and I hate a motherfucking black man that is anti-black. Like, your mama black, your sister black, your auntie's black, and you you got to know they hate black women? Why? How, how can you hate a black woman? And a black woman raised you, but you not going to date your own, like, that shit crazy. And that shit is, like, vivid in this world right now. Look at half of the fucking NBA wives or the football wives. What are they? They're white. For don't like majority of them are fucking white. Like black men really don't be fucking with black women and that shit is crazy. Especially when they got some money. Like that shit crazy. Shout out to LeBron and LL and Ice Cube and ha- the other big ones that do have black wives. Shout out to them. But majority of these, especially these new ones, shit. You're not gonna see an NFL player with no black woman nowadays. But I do see that one. They got that big contract. Oh, he is so handsome, too. He has a black girlfriend. Shout out to him. And he went on Essence, and he said something about he was praising black women. Shout out to him. But I, I'm really disappointed in Marshall. Like, I was like, damn, do I want to follow him? Just forget all about, like, shit, Marshall. Your black women was rooting for your ass. Tan Jackie ass up. And you don't even like our black ass. The fuck? You don't even like our black ass sitting over here rooting like a motherfucker for you. <sighs> the fucking nerve. I don't know. I have to sit on it a little bit. I might just unfollow that man. From, I follow him on um, Instagram and Twitter. That's why I saw that on Twitter. I seen somebody say something about Marshall not click. I said, damn, what Marshall did? What did Marshall do? Lo and behold, you got some goddamn anti-black woman tweets from 2014. Let me know how y'all feel. Y'all mad? If y'all, I don't know if y'all have Twitter or not. Do y'all know about it? Like, what do y'all think about it? About the whole situation? I'm hungry. I know that. I'm hungry as hell. <laughs> hey, y'all. Today is Sunday, April the 23rd. And we are on the way to Poopy's party. It's 2.45. Party started at 2, but it's been raining really, really bad this morning. So, I didn't know if she was going to still have it or not. But she is, and is outside. So, we're on the way. Eli, say hey. We are about um, 48 minutes away. <laughs> Y'all see Turk? Turk's, Turk's coming. Can y'all believe it? <laughs> She's coming. And I'm drinking me a Red Bull. It's the um, apricot. The summer edition. The best one. Strawberry apricot. But yeah, I will pick you guys back up when we get to the party. Ready? Rohan, do you want to do you want to join everybody? Look, they're dancing around Rocket. Oh, you can do your solo dance right there. There you go. <laughs> you can dance with both guys. We made it to the party, y'all. So cute. This is so cute. <laughs> Look at Poopy, y'all. The homeboy. 